What's up hiking friends? It's Micey. I splurged and got another new piece of gear. I stopped at an RV place here in town and I came this close to impulse buying a trailer and then I thought, no, don't do it. Just for extra space in the wilderness. I was like, don't do it. Just don't do it, Michelle. It's $20,000 and so I came to my senses and I went to REI and I bought myself a really nice large tent because my awning got destroyed in a windstorm in Florida and it was not very sturdy. So $20,000 trailer or a $300 tent. The tent made sense. I'm going to try and put it up and show it to you. Okay. It's really big and it has a spot. Oh wait, can you put a power cord in there? I don't even know. Yes, you can. It's got an access for a power cord with really strong Velcro. That was tricky to get open. And I'm inside. It's got like a hundred square feet. There's a gear loft and there are gear nets on the front corners. Windows, lots of windows. And if it's nice out, man, you could have that without the rain fly. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try. I think it's lovely. Um, there's plenty of room in here. It's a six person tent or a living room as the case may be. And it was weird. The, the rain fly is weird. Like what I thought was the front, the back of it, it just, it just seemed like it was backwards. Let me show you. This is the front and it's got like a pole, just one pole that you put in to make a vestibule-ish type thing. But then in the back, this actually zips closed. And I don't know, maybe it's a gear garage. Not entirely sure. Right, it is called the Caddis Rapid Tent. It's a six person tent with telescoping poles. That is the main reason I wanted to purchase it. It's nothing that I have ever heard of. I'm glad I bought it at REI because if it fails, I can return it for up to a year and then try something different. I'm really hoping that it works out. It was a little tricky, but I think every tent is tricky when you first try to assemble it. And it was probably even trickier to disassemble it and fold it up and get it back in its bag, but I did. And I was just thinking that, you know, if I had tried to use this tent 20 years ago, I probably would have been screaming and crying because I had no patience then. I have a lot more patience now than I did. And yeah, I'm gonna use it starting next week when I move outside and I will let you all know how it works out. I'll give it a more thorough review in the future. Thanks for watching. See you out on the trail.